all right guys welcome back to another segment you know the world normally do it and i'm always here to give you premium updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone well with the international break i will still mix things up one i understand all right the likes of rich james and ben chiwe will be coming from the bench for england this evening for england qualification match this evening euro 2024 qualification then chelsea said to appoint a new grandman maybe former grandman for Arsenal and Real Madrid. they say he's a top-notch person he knows what he's doing so chelsea said to appoint him as the new club grandman and again the likes of um, ivan tony ivan tony as our new striker coming in or victor simen or hurricane which will you prefer either ivan tony or simen or hurricane and also Romeo lukaku coming back what's your take i'm going to be dissecting everything in one piece but before i do that please kindly like this video share and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel i only give you update that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone all right Riz james and ben chilwell did not start for england this evening they are not on the england starting lineup you understand they'll be coming from the bench i was hoping that they will start the two of them but nevertheless normally they, they are two they come back from injury and they don't even play the world cup eh, per se so you don't expect southgate to just bring them in like that they just came back from injury played some few match with chelsea yeah expect southgate to just bring them in i know it's not going to be that easy to bring them in into the game like that but maybe the next game they can do it you understand and still under the international level um nigeria versus guinea bissau will be kicking off tomorrow by 5 p.m i know some people doesn't know the time that that match will be kicking off but, but it will be kicking off by 5 p.m tomorrow we just hope that nigeria make us proud and they just win so that they can qualify for the african cup of nation that is coming up very soon so because definitely obvious tv will be covering up for nigeria nigeria will go the cover up for nigeria for that african cup of nation will be covering life you understand so just hope that nigeria make us proud and they qualify since they did not go to, go to the world cup at least let them go to the go for the uh this thing uh, african cup of nation which we know that they normally deliver they, they always do well but i don't know for this this set that is available right now whether they can do something um as in do something good for us you understand we just hope that nigeria do something good for us this period then um i mentioned victor osimen hurricane ivan tony which will you prefer to be chelsea new striker or should chelsea give romelo lukaku a chance to prove himself since he will be returning back to the club this season well um I, I i have i've talked about this three striker before ivan tony um, um victor simen um this other guy harry kane well the three of them are good the three strikers are good no doubts but if i'm to pick which i know that his transaction is not going to be possible if i'm to pick i will go for victor osimen you understand then if i'm to pick another i will go for hurricane before ivan tony i'm not disputing disputing the fact that ivan tony is not a good striker he's a good striker you understand but victor simen is a top-notch striker victor simen in my club working with jao felix which i will be talking about him too working with jao felix alongside mudraik and madweke and enzo definitely he's going to be scoring goals he's going to he's going to be scoring goals i saw a tweet that somebody said that if victor simen should come to chelsea he's going to break that course of number nine well 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 it's possible i know it's possible i don't really think that number nine really have one special spirit following it that that's normally makes striker that puts on that jc doesn't perform well you understand it all depends on the individual you get me but on it in the, the other way around so check the history of chelsea people people that has put on that number nine jc it has not been really favoring them like that you understand so i just hope that um, if if chelsea should should push out and napoli should 
should be ready to say, okay, we want to sell Victor Simen and Chelsea say that we want to buy Victor Simen, irrespective of the amounts involved and the contracts constrained. They can then Victor Simen should come and please don't give him the number nine GC. He can put on any other GC, but not that number nine. You understand? If you are the number nine now, if you talk, say he go come change things, but if you are now, if you not change things, but if you still wear them too, break the course. You understand? Victor Simen is one striker that I see if he should come to in any English club, whether my you. Chelsea, thought anyone, not anyone, or the top four, at least I know saying go compete with the likes of Haaland. Victor Simen, after, right now in the world, if you have to mention strikers right now, you go mention Haaland and Victor Simen. You understand? Then Harry Kane, Harry Kane, and one guy with the way, he's a game changer. You understand? They feel they press you from one side. You get in, they feel they press you from one side, but you see Harry Kane. I can and that's like I will say if he can't on at any time. That time we need to expect it's just like when Droba, if you watch that Champions League for for uh, that was 2 12 against Bayern Munich, that Champions League final. Even as Bayern the winners, there was still hope because apart from the fact that we really needed to win that game, and the, the boys they wanted to win before some of them retired from football. If you look at Drobba's face that day, he really needed that Champions League. When I saw Drobba on that picture, I said, There is hope that this guy, you no know, feel leave from Bayern, you know, go score goal. I told my guy, Did they will watch that game? See, this guy, Drobba, will score. See, Drobba must score against Bayern. Immediately that corner kick, the first corner kick. Where do I matter line them? Ah, see this, see the head. They caught that go, go, go of destiny. Do you understand? So now, so Hurricane Day, Hurricane a game changer. He did like Vaji for Leicester City. Now, Vaji too, now, another strike away people need a two talk again because I don't know what is really wrong with him or this period, this season. He's not really sound this season. Unlike the Vardy I know, Vardy is a game changer. And remember when Leicester left Champions League and came into Premiership the, before they won the first Premiership with the likes of Jane Quarter, Angolo Kante, Ben Chinwe, Maguire, all of them. Yeah, there. You see Vardy. May Vardy no catch you. May no catch your defense. He must deal with your defense and he must score goal. That time when you don't expect an I Vardy to score goal. That's why I came there. When you don't expect, you don't, you don't count 30 and 0 0 off. You just see a hurricane will just come from nowhere, wipe an inside. You understand? Then Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony in a game changer. In short, Ivan Tony in a one striker, you say no alarms call you first because once he score, you don't, he must score again. You understand? So the three of them are good, but I will still go for Osime. Osime is sound. The three of them are good though, but Osime is sound. Then as for Romelu Lukaku, Lukaku no one improving. I, I don't see that boy improving in Chelsea. Even though he's coming back, I'll just I'll just say let Chelsea just sell him out. There's no need keeping him because I know that even Graham Potter himself will not make use of him. So why are you keeping him when you know that when we know that the coach that we have will not make use of him? So there's no need. So you should just he should be sold out to any other team, whether around England or anywhere, or if, if, if possible, loan him back to another Italian club. You understand? So I don't think Lukaku has a very good space to play. But if he's given the chance, and let's say he prove himself, even from the preceding, preseason down to like four, five, six games, definitely there is hope for him in the club. Definitely. There's this hope that yes, we can work with this guy instead of us spending more in the transfer market trying to get a striker. Why we have one, you understand? Remember, there was a rumor that Chelsea is bidding to get Tammy Abraham back, which that one is not yet standing for now. That rumor never stand where. So that is it. So, but if you have anything concerning what I've said so far, you can drop it at the comment section. You understand? I'm not stopping you guys. You can drop your own opinion too. Then as for Jao Felix, um. I got this tweet, which I'm going to read it for you guys. I got this tweet. They say that one of the biggest debates right now is Chelsea community is that of Jao Felix and whether or not Todd Body and Claire, Claire Lake Capita should be sanctioning a rough figure of 
80 million pounds to purchase the Portuguese. I told you guys now. I told you guys. I told you guys. So 80 million. Then you're planning to buy a striker at 100 and something million. 80 plus 100 and something. See. Chelsea is going to spend this summer transfer. Whether you like it or not, we go spend. We go spend. Like, like the way everybody normally says, everything they the coach and nobody to spend, nobody to buy players, then the coach knows how we use them. It will break our hearts. You understand? Then we have the, the grand man. I told you guys, Chelsea are ready to appoint Paul Borges as a new Stanford Bridge grand man. Borges transformed the Madrid pitch into one of the best in the world well it's not bad going for the best is not a bad idea at least this side i know i caught one thing about one thing i've noticed about this new owner he doesn't settle for less he does not settle for less he always go for the best the only thing when he don't settle for less so far now the coach whether i like him or not now the coach now the only thing when he don't settle for less yes everything when they do he goes for the best he makes sure he gets the best out of it you understand so guys that will be all for now if you can drop your opinion concerning what i've said so far and please don't forget to like the video share and also subscribe to this channel thank you very much